Our health is haunted by numbers, our weight, our cholesterol, our blood pressure, but there's been a lot of buzz lately about one more number that could bring many of those other numbers into check. Our Carolyn Long is here to explain now. Carolyn. Brad and Ellen, while we may not broadcast it for all to hear, we all know our actual age, the one on our driver's license. But how old does your body actually act? Well, now there is a way to quantify that, too, by determining your metabolic age. I just wanted to be as healthy as I possibly could. You might recognize Tony Stevens from KFKF Radio. Kansas City's best country variety, 94.1 KFKF. But what many didn't realize behind the microphone is that Tony has struggled with some health issues and just a general feeling of blah. So at the start of this year, he sought help and learned his metabolic age was more than 10 years older than his numerical age, and he knew something needed to change. Metabolic age is, is, is just a numerical value that basically tells us us how efficiently your body's actually burning calories. Darren Upchurch here at Max Life Weight Loss and Body Balancing in Overland Park uses this. Looks like a scale, but it's actually a biometric body analysis device to find that age, amongst other things. Heel goes here and your toes are there and you're standing on it. Like we all know, when you're back in your 20s, you burn calories a lot better than you did when you're, you know, 40s, right? Turns out many of us have been hurting that metabolic number through all of our dieting trials and errors. When you starve yourself, uh, your, your metabolism actually slows down, you store fat, and you actually burn muscle, which is exactly what you don't, the opposite of what you want to do. So is there a way to actually lower your metabolic age? Upchurch says yes. It's all about getting your body back into balance, and that's where this little gadget comes in. Amanda Taylor keeps her hand here on this scanner for 15 minutes as it looks at more than 500 biomarker electrical impulses that flow through your body. It tells us the top 10 toxins your body's been exposed to, it tells us the top five organ systems that are stressed, it tells us what supplements you need, the dosages for those supplements, and it also tells us um, uh, the foods that, you, your body, that your body needs. So Amanda might be told to steer clear of eggs while Tony is told to consume plenty. The results are pretty good. I lost, they're great actually. I lost the weight. I lost, actually lost 25 pounds. Amanda has lost about the same and 20 inches. And both have felt so much better, their medical doctors have even reduced some of their long-term medications. My thyroid medication was cut more than half. I've also stopped taking a prescription that I've been taking for most of my adult life. Gone. Because once that inflammation's gone, once those toxin levels drop inside your body, your body starts to, you add years to your life and life to those years. Now, several women I've talked to have been amazed that once they got into balance, as they call it, their hot flashes just disappeared. They're calling it miraculous. And Tony was telling me that uh, his doctors at KU Med for some medical issues he's dealing with uh, are asking him, what are you doing? Wow. You know, keep it up. Yeah. Wow. It's really interesting. So they're enthused by it. If you can get rid of some prescription drugs that you're on, if you find something that works for you and you're able to eliminate and or, or reduce, it. that boy, that right there interests me. Yep. Thanks, right. it works. Okay. Thanks, Carolyn. Thanks, Carolyn. Mm -hmm.